that moment when you're having so much fun that you don't even know when one hour and 15 minutes of your life has passed by without you even knowing. Kemi Aditiba. Nice one. So The Wedding Party is a movie basically about a wedding party in Nigeria. Uh, it has an ensemble cast starring RMD, Ireti Doyle, Ali Baba, Shola Ali, Banky W. In fact, it has a ton of stars in this movie. Now, it's directed by Kenny Aditiba. From what we know about her, you know, she's done a lot of music videos in Nigeria. She did Too Bad, she did um, Lagos Party with Banky W and I was really excited to see what she was going to bring for this movie considering the fact that it was her first or it's her first feature movie. Now before we go on I just want to warn you the first 20 minutes of this movie is a chick flick. Yes you know that familiar story where this innocent girl wants to marry this Lagos Omo boy with a checkered past you know as regards girls in the past. Now just imagine Freddie Prince Jr and Rachel Leah Cook decided to get married after the event of She's All That. That is the first 20 minutes of this movie. From then on to at least the last 20 minutes of this movie, we have a decent comedy movie. And then the last 20-30 minutes gives us that chick flick feel again. But having said that, I have to say I had fun watching this movie. But the fact that the story, it was just a simple story about a wedding and the way it was told. It's not as if we're trying to have some elaborate twists and turns or they're trying to tell us if or how the US elections in America go hacked by the Russians. No, it was just a very simple story and it was told really well in my opinion. The people in this movie are not trying to be funny. It is just the circumstances that surround them that makes for a very exciting watch. Shola Shobali for me is the standout in this movie and yes we've seen her play these kind of roles in many movies or even series but watching her you cannot help but relate to what she is showing on screen as you are seeing it it reminds you of that probably your mother or some family relation has done something like this before a lot of misplaced good intentions are really showed from her character another person i really liked in this movie was danielle down um she's that friend of the bride who is really trying to be invested in our culture and in, in the way we do things in Nigeria. It, it, was very, it seemed very effortless and seamless in the way she was doing her thing. And it was really good to see. Watching this movie even makes you forget about some of the technical aspects of this movie, which in my opinion were okay. Having said this, it doesn't mean the movie doesn't have its issues. Now, if you've seen any, some of my videos in the past, you hear me talk about stereotype casting, and it's on show again. Banky W plays a guy called Doze, and even though he puts a good shift in this movie, the way as you as you keep watching Doze, he kind of reminds you a lot about Banky W. So you kind of have the feeling that like Banky is playing Banky W in this movie. I've mentioned before about Shola Shobuale, where we've seen her before play this kind of roles in Toy Tomato, Super Story, or whatnot, and it's very apparent here again irritated though for the love of me she is a good actress but i keep thinking can't we give this woman other roles to play now let me explain what i mean there are two movies that she has been in leading up to this one it's called the grudge and dinner even though in dinner her screen time is a bit limited but in the grudge in these two movies she plays a woman married to rmd in these two movies she is a madam and in these two movies, she's pretty much a bitch. Not many slots, but someone with serious attitude problems. Now, let us fast forward again to the wedding party. She's married to RMD. She's a madam in this movie, and she's a bitch to the highest order. Which begs the question again that don't we have other roles that we can give this lady to play in our movies? The movie has some Hollywood cliches, like that childhood friend that you love but you don't want around when serious things are happening played by Ike Chuko or that ex-girlfriend that still wants the groom but we all know is never gonna have him or if it's that wedding planner who seems to have a grip of things but as the wedding goes on you know that she cannot just handle the 
organized chaos that is going on with this movie. But in a way, I, I had a lot of fun with this movie. Like I said, it is a simple story told in a very good way. And for me, I'm going to give Wedding Party a 4. Now, there are people who, whether I say this movie is good or not, are going to see this movie. But there are people who, when they walk into the cinema, the last place they are going to go to is the Nigerian movie section. I just want to say, try and go out on the limb. Just go and see this movie. You will not regret seeing it. It might not be to your highest standard. It's not as if it's the Godfather or anything. But it's still an enjoyable movie. And I like the fact that it was a simple story told in a very good way. So tell me, for you that have seen it, did you like it? Do you think it's an all-time classic? What is your favorite comedy Nigerian movie of 2016? Whatever your thoughts, comment below and let us know. And as always, please stay blessed. Thank you.